I think I knew that I was different from probably the age of 12, although I didn't know how to express that. Uh, knew something was different, tried a few things, uh, was lucky not to get caught. So the officers were doing a witch hunt, and they called me in, and they said, Meyer, you're the only one we can be sure of. <laughs> I didn't know whether to laugh or cry at their horrible mistake. <laughs> I would come home from work at the end of the day and take my uniform off and very specifically put it on a hanger, stick it in the closet, and close the door so that Staff Sergeant Harry was no longer associated with me. You cannot be true to a mission when you are burdened with policies that discriminate. When we said for many years to each other, we would not be able to marry until Don't Ask, Don't Tell was repealed. Right. And it happened. Yeah. Twenty years later, we did see Don't Ask, Don't Tell repealed. That was a tremendous victory, not just for LGBT people. It was a victory for the military itself. We need to be there or else the risk of losing some of the rights that we have gained is always a, a present danger. That's my honorable discharge. And this piece of paper means a lot to me. That piece of paper says that I served honorably, I served my country. And I'm a firm believer that once you take that oath to serve our country, that's for life. That's not for the period of time that you're in the military service. It is for life. <laughs>